A cold night means some areas could get pretty icy, but a much warmer day is ahead of us. Chief Meteorologist Kate Bilo has more on the back and forth temperatures. Hi, Kate. Jessica, it's like we've lived three to four seasons in one week so yes. far. Mother Nature can't make up her mind, but we've got some quieter weather through the end of the week, but then a very strong storm system to usher in the weekend. As you mentioned, there could be some icy spots, mainly in areas far north and west. The Poconos, the Lehigh Valley, where there was a little bit of snow today, and now temperatures are close to freezing, a few slick spots, but everything else is drying out, and temperatures are still above freezing. We will eventually bottom out around the freezing mark in Philadelphia, but sky are clearing now and a couple of much quieter days ahead. Our low tonight is 32, which is pretty seasonable. There will be some patchy fog that tries to develop early tomorrow morning, but it's not everywhere and it is patchy. And by tomorrow afternoon, the sun will be shining, the high 52 degrees. And the best part, not a lot of wind tomorrow. So 52 feel like 52 and the sun is back, which is good news after a gray day today. It's dry Friday, dry into next week. Saturday, of course, is the one outlier here with a 94% chance of rain. Might as well make that 100, but it does look like it's going to be mainly rain. This is a very, very strong storm system, though. This is an Arctic front coupled with an area of low pressure that will very likely bomb out what we call a bomb cyclone, very rapidly deepening pressure off the eastern seaboard Saturday morning. But most of us will see heavy rain as the predominant form of precipitation. It's still going to be a miserable day. 7 a.m., it's already pouring, and you can see the colors here, the bright intensity in indicating heavy rainfall. 7 a.m., 8.30 a.m., right through 9.30, you can see down the shore it's pouring. And then as cold air crashes in behind this system, the winds start to pick up, and we do see a brief changeover to some snow. This is mainly north and west, but you can see by about noon, we start to see some snow making its way toward the city. It falls apart pretty quickly and likely will not be able to accumulate much. In fact, our snowfall forecast showing heavy accumulations far north and west. We may get a slushy inch or two in a couple spots north and west on the grass, but it will be falling at a pretty decent intensity for an hour or two midday Saturday. And then the winds pick up. So what to expect Saturday starts as heavy rain. That brief period of heavy snow midday, low accumulations, but low visibility if you're driving through it. And then the winds pick up the pace with gusts to 50 miles per hour Saturday night, ushering in very cold air for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Only about 40 degrees, but with winds out of the north and west, 10 to 15, it will feel not much better than freezing all day. So strong system here Saturday, rain to a brief period of snow, strong winds, then cold Sunday, but we set those clocks ahead. And as the clock goes ahead, eventually the temperatures will follow back to the 60s early next week. Yuki, right. back to you. Okay, Kate, thank you.